Hi, my name is Lawrence Beeman, and you're watching Ed Magic TV. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. We're here with Lawrence Beeman. And so, Lawrence, tell us, man, what, what brings you out tonight, brother? Man, I'm out just to have a cool time, smooth time, just to make it work, man. And, uh, you know, out here mingling among the people, you know. And So, word is on the streets that you got some talent, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I try to do a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? You tell know? us about that. Well, man, I'm going to just say uh, vocalist, a bass baritone vocalist. Uh, and uh, what I do is I sing in, you know, somewhat different languages and uh, classical music. And that, I'm doing R&B now, but since the... So tell our viewers where we would have seen you in the past here recently, Lawrence. Uh, it was America's Got Talent. Uh, it was, I was one of the top ten finalists on uh, last season's show. Uh, we, it just recently came off a tour with, uh, in December the uh, 31st, 2009. It was last couple months ago. How was that? Uh, it was, uh, the tour was cool with Jerry Springer. <laughs> On who? Jerry Springer. He was Jerry Springer. Of the, uh, yeah. Oh, how was that? Man, man, it, was, it was cool, man. He's a real cool guy. People always say, well, he has a trashy show, but the man is smart. He is an attorney. He's, you know, he was, uh, he was, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, a mayor, you know, so he was a cool dude, you know. Jerry Springer was a mayor? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. What? Where? I was at Ohio or something. Yeah, I think it was Ohio. Didn't know it. Yeah, so a uh, very smart guy. Right. You know, if somebody dropped a pile of money in your lap, would you take it? Heck yeah. All right, so the fact of the matter is that the TV show offered him some money he took it, and that's how the show came about. So basically, man just did that. Uh, tour um, at the Planet Hollywood. Okay. It was cool. It was I think it was six of uh, the uh, uh, of the top ten finalists, you know, on the show. And man, it was a blast. We had a good time, man. And uh, you know, it's just music. You know what I'm saying? Making it work. You know. What inspires you to do what you do? You know what? To be honest with you, I I, I there's a lot that inspires me. You know, I, I'm from Mississippi. I'm a Southern boy. I'm, so uh, Southern boy. Yeah, I'm from Mississippi. So he's got manners. Yeah, oh yeah, a whole bunch. It's about it's respecting others, you know, treating one another with dignity, honor, love, and respect, right? So, uh, uh, man, what keeps me moving, what keeps me singing, man, is, 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 is my humble upbringing. You know what I'm saying? Being from Mississippi, and the song that I chose on the show was Old Man River. And so uh, I sung that song because it's, it's something, a song that is dear to me. You know, we have to keep moving. We have to keep rolling along through all the hardships and trials and tribulations, unexpected situation. I've been through it, through it all. You when you know. fall down, you got to get up. You can't, yeah. you can't stay down. Well, you can't stay down. When you stay down, it shows that you're, you know, that is a sign of weakness. Right. You know. So, um, you know, so I just want to encourage people, man, to just keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? You press for the mark. You know. Any influences in your past that you could really bring up that really influenced you to do music? I, I tell people I want to bring back the depth of Barry White, okay. the okay. soul of, of Mahalia Jackson, okay. and the honesty of Bill Withers. And I want to bring back the true meaning, the depth, the soul of music. You know, I, you know, not something where you have to slap a lot of reverb on it or you know, put all these effects on it or uh, auto tune. You know, we want music real to come music back. coming from right in here, right. Mm -hmm. not from uh, in the buttons and the pushing and all that. Right. Uh, a lot of our uh, uh, true music makers have died. Yeah. And have went on. Uh, Barry White, Luther Vandross, Lou Ross. You know, so what I want to do, I want to bring back the, the true meaning of music. And that's by simply, simply giving uh, people the right lyrics. Lyrics with meaning. Yeah. Lyrics that have, uh, have, have, have heart, that have soul in a lyric. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, so people just think just writing a song is just writing a song. I write songs for what I want to do, what I want to happen not from what I've done because you, you, you shouldn't have to know or experience what I've done or what I've been through it's where I want to go you know what you've got a future vision because you know all songwriters or most songwriters always sing about the past and you want to sing about the future yeah. that's a whole different avenue that I just learned right now of music that's really cool you know, I'm just trying to make it I told you I'm trying to be like you trying to make it work <laughs> this guy over here tell us how we can find you 
Well, you can go to www. I'm getting ready to say four W's. So www.lawrencebeeman.com. That's L A W R E N C E Beeman B E A M E N dot com. Lawrence, you got to tell the ladies. Ladies, are we single, Lawrence? Are we? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 ladies, you know what? Look out for this new hot, sexy album that's coming out. And it's going to be out in the summer. And uh, just get ready for the lyrics of love. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be the album of of the century. I want to get it because if this guy's singing, that means you're going to bring ladies this way. So, <laughs> Lawrence, thank you very much, man. I uh, appreciate it. You have a good evening. Hey, man, appreciate you coming out tonight. Yes, sir.